So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to view at the top, go to properties and explore, make sure both of those are open. Next, we're going to go to explore, go to server script service, right click it, and then insert an object. Next, we're just going to insert a regular script here. Next, we're going to exit the script and go back to our place. We're going to go back to home and we're going to make a part so we can, so we can see where our area is at. So you go to home, press part, and then you, you can just move this to wherever you want it to be and scale it up. You can use these tools to do that. So I'm going to change the size to this and to make it so people can go through it and stuff. You want to turn this off in properties. So just select it, go to properties, and then turn off can collide. You can also turn off these if you want. I'm going to change the transparency to like 0.8 and you want to make sure it's anchored. Otherwise it'll just fall through the ground and then just evaporate. Next, you're going to want to go back to the script and now we can start scripting our variables. First thing you're going to want to do is get rid of this because we don't need it. And we're going to get the part in workspace. So go part equals workspace with a child part. If you named it something else, then you want to change the variable to that. So if I change this to like area, I would want to change this to area as well. Next, we're going to make a loop. So while true do, and then to make sure it doesn't crash or anything, we're going to put a wait in here. So tasks.wait and then one or however long you want it to wait for. So I'm going to put 0.4. I'm going to go back here. We're going to put our parameters. So we'll param which is short for parameters, overlap parameters dot new. And then we can change some of the properties here. So parameters dot filter type equals enum dot recast filter type dot exclude or include. If you put exclude, it'll, ex it'll ignore some objects that you put. And then if you put include, it'll only include the objects that you put in this next part here. Filter descendants instances equals and then a table. You can put whatever you want in here. For example, I'm going to make it ignore the area. So I'm going to put exclude and I'm going to put the part here. So whenever we're scanning the area, it'll ignore this. And we're also going to make it ignore the base plate. First space for child base plate. So that'll make it ignore the base plate when it's scanning and also the area. And then there's some other stuff like respect can collide. If you put that to true, let's say I had a character here. So I'm going to put a basic character here. By default, the arms and legs do not collide with anything. So if I had this to true, it would ignore these because they don't have collision on. If I set it to false, it wouldn't ignore them. So I'm just going to put it to true. I'm going to delete that. Next, we're going to scan. So local touching is workspace get parts in box. Then part.cframe, which is the position and the orientation which is the rotation of it. So I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. And then the size, which is just the size of the part. And then the parameters. Then now this variable will contain all of the parts that were detected inside of this, inside of this area. Now, if you want to loop through all of them, you can first check if it even got anything. So hashtag touching is greater than zero. Since this returns a table, we can use hashtag and then put the table in front of it. And then we can see if it's greater than zero which means that it hit more than zero parts. Next, we're going to loop through all of the parts inside of the table. So for I touch in pairs touching do. And this variable is the part. We're going to go through all the parts in the table and we're going to scan through all of them. So if touch, I'm going to make it damage whatever humanoid goes inside of this area. So if touch in touch.parent, because sometimes when it's scanning, a part will get deleted before we go through the table. So we want to check that to make sure that no errors happen. Next local humanoid equals touch.parent find first child, which is a humanoid. A humanoid contains all of the character's data, like the health and the speed and stuff like that. If humanoid and humanoid.health is greater than zero, then we can damage it by like five. So that'll remove 5% of its HP. And to make it so it doesn't repeat for each limb that it hits, like the torso and the head, we only wanted to detect, we only wanted to detect one of them. So we'll damaged equals this, which is just an empty table. And then we can check if we've already damaged this humanoid by table.find damaged humanoid. It'll search this table that we just made for the humanoid. If it doesn't find it, we're going to put it in the table and then I won't be able to damage. It won't be able to be damaged anymore 
because we've saved it in this table. And you want to put this in front of this. So if not table dot find. So if you didn't find it, then we're going to put it in the table. Now that's fixed. If I press play here, as you can see, there's our area right here. It's kind of hard to see, but if I step into the area, I will take constant damage. And then when I'm out of the area, I don't take damage anymore. And as you can see, it's not detecting my arm because of the respect king collide thing. And yeah, make sure to slap the like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace.